Well, I've just finished pretty much building my house here on uh, 41, a little over 41 acres here in southern Illinois. And it's been a dream of me and my wife to live out here in the country without any neighbors that we can see and have a lot of privacy. One of the things that can happen when you live out here in the country is if you have any storms or you get some bad weather, you can definitely go without power for quite a long period of time. I've, I've worked with some people that have gone without power for as much as seven days. So when we were planning the house, uh, we put a lot of thought and effort into the, of thinking, well, how can we make this house be more comfortable if we lost electricity during that time period? So we put a lot of thought into the appliances and into the you know the heating system and just how the house is all kind of the general uh, infrastructure the house is put together so that we can maybe live more comfortably and be able to still live in our house if we lost electricity so I just kind of want to go over how we've got everything set up here how our mechanical room is set up and uh, it's more suited for the country lifestyle because out here in the country that's the last place they're going to turn the power on so I'm down here in our basement and in front of me this is our mechanical room and our mechanical room is very large it actually takes up one quarter of our basement. So I step into the mechanical room and you can see the reason it's so large is because it's also a storage room. So we've got a lot of area in here so that we can store extra stuff because we don't have an attic. We got all vaulted ceilings, no attic. You need somewhere to store stuff. So we've got some shelves that we've got set up here so that we can uh, put um, extra boxes of stuff there. We've got a set of shelves over here and then we've got plenty of room for more shelves on this side over here. Uh, we've got our extra deep freeze right here. We've, of course, we've got storage for uh, tables. We've got folding chairs over there. We just, this is the catch-all room. This, this catches everything. And then under the stairs, we actually have enough room to be able to fit uh, a gun safe back in behind the stairs there. So quite a bit of storage room here in uh, the mechanical room. So let's talk about uh, the utilities and how the house is set up. So we'll start with the water system. We are on a rural water system, so this is basically like city water for the country. And uh, we've got our line comes in this wall here through the basement wall. And the first thing we have is we have a shutoff valve uh, so that we can turn it off if necessary. Uh, then it tees off and this goes over and these are our outside water hydrants. They're the FOSP frost free hydrants. I've got one on the front of the house and one on the back of the house and everybody has trouble with them freezing up in the winter time even though they're frost free. So the way I have this set up is that I can turn this off here and turn off my water hydrants and then open up this valve here and that will drain that uh, to the floor drain here and I can drain all the water out of those lines and I don't have to worry about them freezing up in the winter time. So the next thing is, it comes over, we've got us a whole house water filter and it is mounted exactly above the drain also. So in case I spill any water, hopefully that will go down the drain when we change that filter out. So after the water filter is the water softener. Uh, I've never had a water softener before. This is one of the uh, type that just takes the pellets you know the softener pellets and then you just you just basically pour them in here and uh, I'm getting a little low about time to add some but uh, pretty happy with the results so far uh, it does have a built-in bypass on the back so if you got any issues with it you can just activate the bypass and then you still have water uh, going to the house so after the water softener we have the propane water heater and this is an on-demand propane water heater and the reason we chose this is because it um, it doesn't have very much electrical use so it basically just runs the electronics and it runs a little blower motor so that it can uh, to uh, move the combustion air in and out um, of the uh, the water heater so that's the only thing that's really running is the electronics and a blower 
and an igniter. And if we're looking at this thing, it says $480. Well, the scale only goes down to like four, four eighty-five. So I mean, this is about as low as electrical use, I guess, as I could probably hope for. I mean, it just plugs into a regular outlet. It's just plugged in over here with my water softener. So after the propane water heater, the water comes over here to our manifold. So we've got this water distribution manifold. It is made by Manablock. And I got this at supplyhouse.com. I'm pretty happy with it. It's got uh, compression fittings here on the sides to attach all of your pecs. And then it has shutoff valves on each one of them so you can isolate each individual one. It also come with these nice little stickers so that you can go ahead and, and label all your fixtures so you know exactly which one is which. So pretty happy with that. The way that worked out is uh, the only crimp connections I have are actually at the other end at the fixture and then it's got all these compressions right here. So all the pecs just basically from here fans out. It goes on the basement ceiling and just goes out to uh, all the water fixtures in the house. Pretty happy with the uh, way that worked. Only like a, a half a day to get all my water lines in. I was real happy. It was one of the quickest things I did on the build to be honest with you. So over in this corner is my HVAC system. It is a two-stage, two-zone system and it is a train uh, system and basically the two stay has two stages of heat so this upper portion is my a coil so that is an air conditioner in the summer but in the since it's a heat pump uh, it can heat this coil up in the winter time and he it heats the house with the heat pump outside and for some reason if that does not keep up um, in the winter time then I have a second stage which is this bottom section is a propane furnace and then it can heat my house up uh, using the propane that I have stored in our tank outside instead. So there's two different ways that I can heat the house and then it is also a two zone system so the upstairs and the downstairs are two separate zones so they have two separate thermostats and basically all I'm doing is keeping the upstairs nice and cool and I, I, I have the downstairs turned off all the time so it's more efficient because I'm only basically heating and cooling half of my house right now. So over here is our electrical box and this is the one thing um, you know it powers the whole house and this is what we're worried about uh, losing electricity in the winter time if we have a storm or something like that so we've set this panel up so that it is also wired to a generator plug on the outside of our house so that we can plug in our portable generator and power our house. So the way that works is we've got a, our generator wired up here to our breaker at the top and then we've got a generator interlock here and it prevents us from turning our generator on and um, we cannot turn that on with the main on so we got to turn our main breaker off and then we can turn the generator on and then it will back feed and power this entire panel. Now that generator will not power everything in our house. So what you have to do is you just have to select the breakers that you want to use. So we would probably turn on the lights so that we had lighting to see to walk around the house. All of our lights are LED so they don't pull much power. We would turn on the circuits that power our freezers and fridges so that our uh, so that the uh, food did not go bad. We could also power our hot water heater so that it can uh, heat the water and we can have a nice hot shower. So that would be a nice thing to have when the power is out. But with our, with our furnace we can also do one other thing. So the furnace is set up that I can flip this into emergency mode and it will automatically only try to use the propane furnace and that propane furnace is real similar to the hot water heater as in it's just running the blower motor and the blower motor doesn't pull as much energy as that heat pump does outside so I can run this propane furnace off of my little generator so 
that's a good thing. So I can actually heat my house in the wintertime using just the propane furnace. Now I can do that by flipping this uh, into emergency mode here on the control board or on my thermostat I can actually put it into auxiliary mode and it'll pretty much do the same thing. And uh, so I think we have it pretty well set up. We also put in a wood burning fireplace and this is a basically a wood stove that fits in the fireplace so it's really uh, pretty efficient and can heat the house pretty good. It can heat the upstairs of the house. It does have a blower motor on the inside of it uh, but that doesn't pull too much electricity. Uh, definitely something that the generator would be able to power but even if we didn't have the generator hooked up uh, this this stove uh, wood stove basically this fireplace will be able to heat the first floor and at least the living room without having any electricity at all. So if the power does go out we will be able to heat our house with the propane furnace using the generator. Now I won't be able to use it to cool the house and run the air conditioner but I will be able to at least run this furnace and I'll be able to run our hot water heater and have hot water we'll be able to keep our refrigerators going we'll be able to have lights now cooking now what would we do for cooking now i don't want to run an electric oven off of our off of our generator so what we did is we we put in a gas cooktop on our island so our island has this propane cooktop and if the power goes out it won't be able to ignite itself so as long as you have a match or a lighter you'll be able to light the stove and you'll still be able to cook your food so I think that we've got this house pretty well set up pretty happy with the design we haven't had any major power outages yet but uh, I think we're ready if we do so this is our mechanical room thanks for watching